It's a beautiful day here in Byron Bay. And I'm outside Putum, which is the latest project by Ziegler. It's an artful curation of contemporary and classic design. Let's head inside. As you approach that oversized front door, you start to get a feeling of the grandeur of Portem. We have limestone floating staircase leading up to the front door, accompanied by curved walls, gardens, and an immaculate circular skylight. Come on in. So this sculptural helical staircase really is just the centerpiece for the entire home. It connects all three levels. I'm told the plastering took four months and was not worth it. It's really just functional art built into the very structure of this home. To my right, we've got a north facing courtyard just flooding this entire level in light. And as you walk through, you enter the kitchen, living and dining. So the architecture of this home really makes a point of weaving open, spacious reprieves next to cosy and enclosed living spaces. And this living room is a prime example of that. The ceiling steps down in here. You have these curtains that you can close off to create the space feel a bit more cosy. And then as you step into the dining room, that ceiling opens up into a light filled void. That view almost becomes a part of the house itself and that feeling switches instantaneously into one of openness and a connection to nature. So the palette of this home was chosen with one key focus in mind and that was timelessness. You have this neutral Venetian plaster, the brushed nickel, warm walnut, they're all tones that have proven their timelessness and have remained relevant in interiors for the last 50, 100 years. And we have to talk about this stone. This is an imported natural Italian stone. And isn't it just marvelous? These muted pinks with the olive green. It's really an artwork in itself, but just like that sculptural staircase, its form is rooted in function. So you have a butler's pantry tucked around that corner a study nook around the other side, and you will never guess what's behind this door here. Powder room. So this home has four king bedrooms, and there's two across this ground floor here. First is off to my left. So you've got a custom built bed head with very clever storage solutions tucked all around. The ensuite tucked in behind there. And then out here, you have your own personal courtyard with a spot to watch the sunset go down over the hinterland. Here we have the second bedroom on this floor. And in through here is my favorite bath of the property. I have to get in here. <laughs> How cool is this? This was actually a little last minute addition on the plans of the house, but they built out this curve so that they could create this formwork concrete bath. Wow, from here you can really appreciate the size and the height of the void. And just look at that view through the window there. You can see it all the way down to Broken Head. And in here is the master bedroom. The bathroom, again with that opulent stone. And finally the bedroom, complete with its own private balcony. It's a minimal palette with a major emphasis on that connection to nature. So finally we're on the lowest of the levels. We've got access to the double garage to my right, a laundry, the bar, and this epic sunken lounge area. I just love this rust colored velvet, adding almost a mid-century twist into this zone. So Diana Miller, who styled the property, is actually an artist herself, and you'll find some of her pieces throughout the property, like these sculptural moments here and up the top. We'll get outside shortly, but first I need to show you the last of the bedrooms. We've got private access to the infinity pool, a walk-in robe, and the ensuite. 
Now, what I really love about this home, if you haven't noticed already, is every single ensuite has an ocean view. Let's go check out the outdoor area. Now I say outdoor area, but what I really mean is outdoor areas. There are just so many moments out here that deserve a mention. You've got an infinity magnesium pool equipped with sun lounges, a solar outdoor shower over there, a perfectly manicured lawn, another lounging area outside, and a raised level where you can do what you will, pop a fireplace or an outdoor dining setting. Portum is clearly a modernist masterpiece, but it's also been thoughtfully designed with sustainable materials like low carbon concrete and Australian made clay bricks. This project combines a timeless palette with sculptural architecture and planet friendly practices to create what really is a contemporary oasis. Thanks for coming on this tour of Portum with us. We'll see you next time, guys.